Yep, so we're gonna so I'm gonna show you to do a skin, right? Um I'm not gonna do that one just because well that's not really a good one to show BX. So control C then B and then whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna call this one a th um clone trooper three oh three. Just like that one, god damn it. Ugh. We go through a third. Yep, and then control A C. And then we figure out where we where it went. Um through a third, through a third, through a third, right here. Yep, and then rename this a through a third, right? Now, um, <coughs> I'm just gonna take my base one, right? And we're gonna do edit with GIMP. I like GIMP just because it's very uh, good skin editor. You guys can see what I'm doing, right? Yep, okay. Anyways, the other thing you wanna do now is figure out what color you want it. So we're going to edit. <laughs> Yeah, and this is just a very good place to pick out your, where you want your uh, different things to come from. But we could do like black, right? And we do OK. And then we go over to here, and we just go like this. And we just want to get like a black like color, so we could go like that, or if we don't want like we want, this is like I want a solid black, right? And we do crop, and we do buy, or actually we should resize this pixels. <coughs> I suggest making it like a square just as that way it's easier to edit and all that and then file save as black I always suggest that you make up black backups because you'll usually fuck up and it's a pain in the ass so <clears throat> make up backups because if you do fuck up a lot like I used to do it helps you out a lot now you want to add the layer on GIMP and now GIMP's free to use you can just see you can actually type up GIMP and you'll be able to find it it's pretty easy and um yeah so one thing we want to do is you want to bring it down to 50% because that way it doesn't look like it's on there but it is on there now we can keep it like this but if we want it maybe a little more darker you can up raise the omnicity like for instance I want it at 75 right now okay so I want a black black and let's say I want his whole like so right here is his um, shoulder pad right and let's say I want his entire shoulder pad black so what we do is I actually I want to make a duplicate of this so I don't have to reopen it again. Duplicate layer. And we'll throw this one up here for now. Yeah, right up here. All right, because I um, I want to keep that right there. Anyway, so what we do right is we just make sure it goes over this right. It goes over, but we can but we can still see like the thing right. So we're just darkening it. And then we go into the erase tool and we just want to outline it. Yeah, just gonna outline it. That's kind of bad. Let's get a little closer. Shit, I accidentally did zoom out. Anyways, go a little bit closer and like. Yeah. Anyways, you can like do that and you can get in nice and close. You just crop out the corners now. And that's gonna look nice. Now, when you go into the game, it's gonna be a black, um. Thing. Okay, so that's where that is. <coughs> Sorry again. Shit. Alright, yeah, so. Yep, go like this. Crop out all this stuff there and then. So that way you'll get like the black, you know, thing. And then, once you go into the game, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, file, save as, and it's always going to go up here. You want to change this to JPG if you're using GIMP. And just save it that way, and then, like, it'll ask you to, you know, export it and shit. Um, but, yeah, so usually, though, the best way to do it is do, like, this, and then three. And then you save, export, export, export. And then, now I'm going to go into the game really quick, and I'll show you the rest, or this in the game. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, so you see that we made that, like, shoulder pad black? Well, now it's black on here. Now, how you do it, since I did the, I told you the number three after, just go on the list, and you should find text mod. You can change it to three. Got the 501st here, too, but yeah. You'll have, like, three and stuff. It's just very easy to go and edit and stuff. Very cool. And then you can do that there. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. Black shoulder pads. Maybe you could go and add in like a little repellent symbol for you if you want to do that. I think it's 
it's just it's um this once you know how to do it very easy and simple to do it and you can usually do it for most clone skins and stuff um if you have to save something with a transparent background um save it in tga though but yeah so that's that's basically it okay so i'm back and i just want to show yes, this new scene i was working on especially like the 101st but the skin isn't that blue though but looks okay anyways there's one skin i did and the other one i did so yeah this one this is I actually called it fives but it's echo and then here's the regular one and also change it so there's more um things that you can see with it i don't know why it's not changing and anyway, let's go under here and show you the different stuff so when you go under here right there's all sorts of just different you know skin stuff that you can do and um the other thing too is i was showing people how to um can make skins too but yeah so yeah, just go on and change that and i did this skin and then this one which we go up to here <coughs> oh sorry okay i didn't do this with that one but yeah so different models and, um, also did the head too so that we get that helmet and this helmet yeah, I have to do the cape. Yes, the cape looks kind of purple, and um, I probably won't call these guys a 501st just because it's not like the right blue. It's not that dark, but yeah. Other than that, um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, skin and stuff. It's really simple.